Good morning, children. Today's English class, we will deal with the poem Animals from First Flight. Uh, I missed the poem. So, I am going back and we will start with the animals. Okay, children. So, let us start with the poem. Uh, it is poem written by Walt Whitman, who is an American poet. Um, a few important poems are there which you know that Captain or Captain is a very famous interesting poem that you have definitely already read about Walt Whit of Walt Whitman. Today the poem Animals is very interesting poem and it will uh, suggest that the, how the poet feels comfortable with the animals than with his fellow human beings. Okay, let us begin the poem. I think I could turn the poet uh, before that let us see the poet tells us that he feels more at home with animals than humans whom he finds complicated and false yes it's true yes very it's very true you will accept that uh, hum, that animals are very simple they don't have any complications in their mind they do not pretend to say anything there is no hypocrisy in it that is there is no difference between what they show and what they say and what is in their mind there are complications in human beings but sorry to say but we have that and animals definitely they do not have that they cannot hide anything what they feel they show so that is more uh, that is easier for us to mix with because uh, to mix with humans who are different from the inside and outside it is very difficult to gauge those people what they want what they are so it is poet says that he is much comfortable to be with animals than the human beings let us see what he says why he says so i think i could turn and live with animals they are so placid and self-contained i stand and look at them long and long I think I could turn and live with animals. He says that, the poet says that, he thinks that if he could turn back and live with animals. Turned back and live with animals means what? That as development is going on, progress is going on, we humans are going on, moving on with that. We are moving with the with the flow so he wants and it is not possible to be with the animals if he moves on if he moves on he will get continuously alienated or drifted away from the uh, simple uh, not so complex animals so he wants to turn back if, if you can remember that we were animals long long back ago our ancestors were animals we know that so he says that if he want to be with the animals if he want to if he wants to be to have the qualities of the animals to be with the animals then he has to turn back not to go with the flow of the progression he has to turn back and has to go many years back to be with the animals they are so placid they are so calm they are so composed they are they can they can they do not hide their emotions they do not have any hypocrisy so they are placid and self-contained they are very happy with their condition they do not complain about their condition they never complain that oh my god what my destiny has um, uh, brought me for means, brought, means how my destiny has put me here they do not complain about that they are very happy and satisfied with their condition which we rarely are. I stand and look at them long and long. So I stand and look at them long and long that if I were be with them like them. They do not sweat. Who? The animals. They do not sweat and whine about their condition. Sweat and whine about their condition. Why means to cry, to lament. So they do not sweat and whine about their condition. They never complain about their condition. 
they do not sweat that why i am here how, how i have reached here why can't i uh, we i go better uh, in a position for that crying and lamenting animals do not sweat do not sweat means sweat by thinking about the by frustrating getting frustrated about the condition of the present situation they do not sweat for that which we do we are always dissatisfied and we are we lament we cry we regret and we um, blame our destiny and for that we cry and we sweat about our conditions which animals do not they do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sweet scenes when they sleep they sleep peaceful sleep which we people day by day as we are advancing more we are losing our sleep till midnight out of tension out of frustration out of worriness we remain awake or because of the work pressure we remain awake we have lost our forgotten our uh, peaceful sleep but our body demands that our body our mental condition um, is based they are based on these happy sleep but we cannot our present condition our wish uh, wishes our desires are not allowing us to sleep peaceful sleeps at night so they do not lie awake never you will see a dog sleeping with attention when it sleeps you look at it how peacefully it sleeps we cannot they do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins and this that is why they do not weep for their sins we weep we weep for our sins we we get excited and out of excitement out of frustration we commit sins we commit mistakes and after that we regret for that we repent for that why have we done the sins but if we were honest to ourselves if we could uh, be true to true to ourselves we would not commit sins if we would not commit sins we would not have to repent we would not have to cry we would not have to remain away but we forget this out of excitement out of jealousy out of different uh, rages we commit sins and for that we cry for that we repent for that we weep we for their sins but animals they do not they do not make me sick discussing their duty to god even animals never come and discuss about their duty to god why it is to be discussed why it is to be discussed and reminded that these are the duties of yours to be towards a god you have to be honest you have to be truthful you have to believe the almighty why this is to be discussed it should be within us it should be within us we should be true to the god we should true to be ourselves and hence true to the god we should be honest why these are to be discussed and to be reminded to the others that you have to do this you have to do you have these are the duties to the gods they do not discuss animals do not discuss they are true to themselves and automatically they are serving the god understood so this is we are doing mistake like that we animals do such mistakes discussing our duty we do scenes we are wo always worried and tensed about our own situation and condition not happy at all with our own situation not one is dissatisfied animal a tiger not is dissatisfied a dissatisfied you will never see or a, an elephant repenting or regretting for his condition never you will see a deer why it is a prey to the lion or a tiger never regretting for that you will never hear this so they are not dissatisfied with their situation not one is demented with the mania of owning things 
so they are not dissatisfied with that any condition they are happy with their condition they are happy with their own means they have taken up whatever they have got they are happy with that and not not one is demented with the mania of owning things so they are not demented they are not mad crazy about the mania of owning things mania is an again you can see again a madness an extra wish or desire to get something so they do not they are not dissatisfied if anyone is not dissatisfied there is no craving for anything extra those who are dissatisfied they only crave for something extra so not is not one is demented with the mania of owning things they do not have the mania that i need this i need that i have to possess this i have to own this my friend is having this they are jealous of this she is having this they don't have this jealousy they don't fight to own things we forget that we have come alone on the earth and we have to go alone we will not carry all these things with us we don't we can't understand then why do we fight with this if we do not carry all these things when i will die when i will close my eyes everything will remain on the earth i'll have to go alone then still we strive still we fight to get all these things animals they do not poet points out that that they are that is why they are happy they don't have to fight they don't have any jealousy they are happy they are happy with themselves that is why they don't have to fight with others to get something extra for them so not one is dissatisfied not one is de demented demented with the mania of owning things not one kneels to another have you seen any lion kneeling in front of other lion or a tiger kneeling in front of another tiger but we humans do we humans kneel in front of others beg we can go to any extent to achieve something we lose the spine we don't have our backbones we kneel but never you will see a lion kneeling to another lion a tiger kneeling to another tiger but a human kneeling to another human is very common not one kneels to another nor to his kind that lived thousands of years ago nor to his kind that means <clears throat> not to his species same species which lived thousand years back that is a tiger never kneels to another tiger in the same way a tiger never kneels to a tiger thousand years back but we humans kneel we humans kneel to another human today we humans kneel in front of the uh, means our ancestors who were long before that is we feel sorry that we are not the same as they were so we have to kneel to them to them also those who were born thousands of years back we kneel in front of them also that we have lost the virtues what they had so we are kneeling to them out of sorry we are kneeling in front of of our same species today also to achieve something for a uh, some earthly gain to satisfy our demands we are kneeling and animals never do the condition what thousand years back had the same condition they still have today so there is no regret 
with the passage of time which we have animals do not have any regret with the passage of time whatever they had thousand of years ago the same condition they have today also humans do not but we claim that we are progressing so where is the progress with the progress of science we are actually losing our good senses that is why we have to kneel in front of our forefathers our ancestors also <clears throat> not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth another interesting thing have you seen that one is more respectable one animal is more respectable other animal is less respectable no all are equal but humans one is more respectable another is less one has to kneel in front of the others one has to beg in front of the others one is in mercy of the others so there are difference of respect why if we are human beings if we are of the same species why there would be disparity why there would be difference in respect do animals have one dog is not respectable to the other dog never you will find never you will find one dog is less happy than the other dog be a dog of here or be a dog of uh, south africa be a lion of the um, jungles of india be a lion of the jungles of anywhere of the world so there is no question of disrespect or unhappiness but we are that not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth everyone is equally respectable everyone is equally happy over the whole earth among the animal species which is not in humans so they show their relations to me and i accept them so they show the animals show these relations to me and i accept i like it i like this type of relations what they showed to me which is far better the virtues which are far better than the humans vices they bring me tokens of myself they evince them plainly in their either they evince them plainly in their position they bring me tokens of myself now what is token token is signs s i g n s signs they bring me tokens of myself they bring me the signs of myself that is they have the tokens they show the signs of some good virtues which should be possessed by the animals and um, by the humans humans claim that they are the most intelligent race if they are the most intelligent race then they should possess all the good qualities rather the best qualities but where are they possessing they are not possessing they don't have those tokens tokens those signs of goodness they are devoid of those signs of goodness which the animals have they carry so they bring me tokens of myself which should i have they are carrying them that is honesty that is calm poised they can control that is self respect self happiness contented so all the good qualities they are having which we should have so these are different tokens that they can carry they are they are carrying which we should carry they evince them plainly in their possession they show those wealth of the nature the treasures they can show plainly in their possession they can be they can be proud of their possession that yes they have these qualities these tokens are with them we don't have the evidence they show them plainly in their possession they can claim that yes we have animals claim unfortunately we cannot claim though we claim to be the most intelligent race most advanced science technology 
but we are devoid of all these qualities. I wonder where they get those tokens. I think, I wonder, I am surprised at how, where from do they get these tokens? Why we have, why don't we have these tokens? Why don't we have these gifts? Then he questions, did I pass that way huge times ago and negligently drop them? That did we have those all good qualities thousands of years back? Did our ancestors had at that time? And slowly with the passage of time, we have dropped one by one all the good tokens. With the passage of time, we have dropped one by one all the good coins, all the good tokens, all the good qualities. And today we are pauper. Today we are beggar. Today we don't have a single token with us. Today we don't have the coin of good qualities with us. The virtues are lost with the passage of time. Maybe for that, the poet wishes to go back. Because if he has to collect those tokens, those coins again, he instead of moving forward, would have to take on a U-turn and would have to go back, collecting back those dropped tokens, those dropped virtues. And then only he would gain those possessions, which he has lost already standing today. That is why he doesn't want to be with the with his fellow members, with his members of the same species, but he wants to be with the animals who are still possessing those good qualities. That is why he wants to spend his time with the animals more than with the humans. So that is the uh, poem, children. Uh, try to read the poem, try to understand the meaning and enjoy it. I, I actually, I like the poem very much. Really, I feel sorry that why we cannot be like animals. When I shout at my dog, after some time, it again comes back to me. It takes care of me. I feel surprised that if it would happen with me, I'm so egoist that I would not talk to that person if someone would scold me like that. But my dog doesn't do that. So I sometimes feel surprised at how it can overcome that ego and how it can show its loyalty to me still. So are not they better species than us in other words? Let us think about it. You people also think about it. Read the poem. Enjoy it. And if you have any doubt, please ask me. Thank you, children.